So very quickly on how to program your squelch using chirp for your ball thing just to make the reception a little bit better okay so I've assumed that you have loaded the, the contents of your ball thing onto chirp when you've done that you'll see at the side there there's another tab that says settings so if we go to that settings and click we then get another um, set of menus the first one is the basic ones and it says squelch level one and that is what your radio is going to be set at when you turn it on but if you go down to the service settings at the bottom you can see that there's a whole set of real squelch levels down the right hand side down the left hand side where it says vhs squelch one two three four etc that's the one that you see on your radio so quite simply all you need to do is reset those so your first one could be one and that will be that if there's no interference that'll turn the squelch off next one i've set to two uh, then you can go four six eight and ten usually one and two is plenty uh, if you've got a lot of interference by the time you get up to uh, the squelch level six on the radio which in reality is a ten you, you're fully well on then anyway uh, if you go one further more and you turn it to 30 all you're looking at is signals coming in that are five and nine so from there then all you do is you go and save that there and then you just up, upload it to your radio as you would normally and that's it it's as simple as that